All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Game on. We're, we're just gaming on. I'm lucky. We've got more Dragon's Dogma, too. So, we made it to the capital. Got through the ox cart quest. It wasn't that big a deal, actually. Now, we're traveling around just checking out everything in the capital of Vernworth, which is the capital of Vermont. There's two countries, basically, I've figured out so far. Bertal and Vermont. We woke up in Bertal after being the uh, champion in Vermont. Once we became arisen, we became a threat to the royal family here in Vermont, I guess. And they captured us, cursed us, took our memory, and sold us to them as a slave. Now we've escaped and we're kind of coming up in the world again as the Arisen. So let's explore around the rest of the Vernworth and then we'll continue the main quest by meeting Captain Brant at the inn at nighttime. Oh, you gotta put your swords away too. You can't be running around like that. Let's see if we can parkour to find this treasure chest here. Oh. <laughs> Found it. Salubrious brew, warming solve. So that must be when you're frozen. I'll go and open the chest. There's a chest right there. He found a harp spud. Uh, that's a little bit steep of a pitch right there. Okay. Didn't do any damage there. Ah, it's, it's definitely a little bit laggy here in town. I'll say that. I don't know if it's dropping any frames for you guys or anything like that. But I'm sure it is. So we're running this on a PS5, by the way. And everything's run pretty smooth so far. I just assume because of all the NPCs and everything that's going on in town here that's just having a hard time rendering some stuff. Okay, so here's the armorer. Welcome to Bjorn's Armory. You'll find only and quality is what you need if you want to survive. So before you check the price, just remember, misers die early deaths. Looking for a craftsman? I'm a master of my trade. I like that. Hard leather helm. Unseen shadow. That one's sick, dude. A hardened leather helmet that covers the majority of the head, as well as the neck, protecting the wearer from most attacks, aimed above the shoulder. So any headshots, it'll kind of help with that. Cool circlet. I can't wear it. I can't wear the friar's hood. Damn. Hunter's mail. Where'd it go? It's up here. That stuff's pretty cool. I mean, the shoulder is huge. Holy smokes. Ranger vest. Oh, yeah. There you go, guys. I actually like that outfit. It's rogue. Very rogue. Got the leather boots like usual. The combat breeches are new. Okay, looks like straight up leather breeches. Sprinter's boots. Oh, those look nice. They got fur with them. The Voyager's cloak. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. The regal cloak. Yeah. The dashing capelet. Oh, that, that has a debilitation resistance plus 2% against sleeping. Not much. Vermundian cloak. The General's Mantle. I like that. That actually increases your defense by one, too. All the other ones don't do anything towards any of that. Ma boost maximum health. Increases the maximum amount of weight and carry. Okay, so there's some stuff there. But before we go and buy a bunch of stuff, I want to see... Enhance equipment. Equipment enhance. If you have the requisite materials to hand, you can enhance your equipment at any shop equipped with a forge. Consider enhancing your equipment according to your level and fighting style. Styles of smithing. There are several styles of smithing used in enhancement, and each one produces a different result, such as moderate, all-around improvement, or a significant increase to magic or might. Choose the style that is most compatible with your preferred equipment and approach to combat. Okay, so this is a whole other thing here, guys. Equipment enhancement. Oh, we can do it for all of our guys, too. Look at that. But not for our main pawn for some reason. Hmm. Enhance criteria. Copper ore. Okay, we can do that one. Jagged bone and scrap iron. We don't have the scrap iron. 
Okay, so just like in Dragon's Dogma, the first upgrade doesn't cost anything except... Does it cost any money? Yeah, it does. cost a little bit of money. Cool. Okay, so that's how we do that. I'm not going to do too much of that because we do have some other items that we're going to find eventually at one of these inns. We did download our extra items from our Adventurer's Boon pack. We will go get it well eventually. While you're here, eh? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I enjoy this work. Keeps me on my toes. Fairy stone. Oh, <laughs> 10,000. Okay, so there are port crystals. There are fairy stones. It has been confirmed. That's how we're going to fast travel. Now, where's our first port crystal going to be at, I wonder? Damn, those fairy stones are expensive. Let's just go down the list here of everything. <clears throat> lantern, lantern fuel, mundane. It's not as good as a modest one. Grass patterned. Particularly sturdy against monsters that prowl from Mendian soil. And it's a little bit lighter, too. Explorers. Efficient without being unduly weighty. Is favored by explorers traveling far afield. Yeah, I mean, it's just the same thing, except a little bit lighter. Boost your strength and magic. Marcher's Helm. <gasps> that looks dope. Except my defense goes down. Marcher's Armor. Looks cool. The Courtly Tunic. Courtly Breaches. Whoa. Why are those things so expensive? I mean, did that really say 155000 Holy smokes. So I guess that gets me into the castle, if I can get that. That's what that says. Formal raiment worn by the palace attendants and visitors. None save the most ill-mannered boar would dare enter Vernworth Castle without it. So, it says the same thing with this. Stop by again soon. So, he had some interesting stuff. He's a tailor of sorts, I suppose. Now, what's this guy have? This is generally... I have all manner of arms for sale. Come, have yourself a look. Mm. Roderick Smithy. Apologies, sir, but we've not got any archer staves or great swords in stock at the moment. Goods aren't flowing as kind of armor as they are used you? to, see. See, strangely enough, tis the arms shipments that are being targeted the most. I just hope this doesn't mean the beasts are gaining an in intellect. Looks like he got in a fight with the beast. Look at his face. So far, no one's done a thing about it. And if this keeps on, my business is doomed. I hesitate to ask, but... Oh, cool. Here we go. What of you, sir? Should you take interest in aiding my plight, pray speak to the guild head, Klaus. I've all manner of... Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Come, have yourself a look. Yeah, so he's straight up got the weapons. The other guy had the armor. Some of those bows look cool, the bespoke bow. Look at that. Bow of bronze and heartwood melded into a delicate balance that affords the wielder impressive aim. Mm -hmm. Throat cutters. Always like those. Now we've got stilettos. Daggers crafted for delivering armored foes their end. The blades are flat and the points sharp. Better to seek out gaps in plate mail. Okay, so better penetration. We've got stabs here. Anchor to heaven. That's a classic one from the original Dragon's Dogma. A staff of a shape familiar to any mariner. In truth, its design is meant to focus magical potential. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't really have a ton of money yet. So we're going to save it for I now. You something. Oh, really? Whoa. Specializations are skills that can only be acquired by pawns. They are not strictly beneficial, for they allow the pawn to act independently, and this can result in unexpected consequences. However, with a little patience, planning, and due care, specializations can prove very useful and are well worth trying out. If you would like your pawn to learn a specialization, you would do well to befriend people with various traits and tendencies in the world around you. Sooner or later, these friendships are bound to create opportunities for your pawn to acquire a specialization. 
A pawn can only acquire one specialization at a time, and learning new specializations will replace the old one. Consult each specialization's entry for more information about its effects. Sh Sugarman's Tomb? Okay. So what is this all about now? I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that box I bought either. Um. So I think that told me that I'm basically going to make my pawns do some cool stuff, but it's also going to tick me off at times because they'll do some interesting stuff. I don't know, that was strange. You guys tell me what you think about that. that looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? So those are all our weapons, armors. We're the people who just straight up sell items. Now the tavern is right there. Oops. Or was I at the inn? I was at the inn and this is the tavern. So let's go in here and see what's up at the tavern here. Maybe they are the same place, and I'm just tripping. Yeah, this is the same place. It's the exact same place. Bouncing off the walls. Like a five-year-old kid. Wah, wah, wah. Shakir's in. This is where we're gonna get our items, guys. Found well it. Well met. You are come to Shakir's Inn. Shakir's okay. Inn. Yes, you will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospitality in all Vernworth. Got a hell of a mutton chop setup going on there. Whoa, his rest is zero gold? Why is that? We must rest. Though the sun is still up. Yeah, I mean, might as well if it's zero gold. I wonder if that means something's gonna happen. Oh, because we're supposed to rest and turn it to nighttime to advance the main quest. So it gives us the option for free to advance the main quest. Now, good job, Muad'Dib. You went out and made us look good. Manifold were the lessons I learned on this journey. Manifold? Nary, a useful item or precious trinket escaped my notice. Our many encounters taught me much of combat's depth. So that's interesting how they can go away for just a minute like that. Somebody must have been using it for a while and just got done with them. Travel together for a day and night. Pawn traveled with Afeina. Oh, and your stuff's set to... Sure. Ooh. Okay, these are interesting. We'll go with the Cyclops one for now. Do we have any cool items? We're going to go ahead. The fluted bow is not cool enough. We'll give him that for now. Yeah, there you go. Wish upon the rift. Oh, cool. We got a trophy I for that. Pearls with a pawn of great skill on my travels. He was a master thief. Oh, and he's never saw him coming. It's just like now us. Whoa, what the hell? Off we go, then. Did you see all that stuff that he got? Gone. What? Whoa. That was a ton of stuff. So this is Rotten Square the Beast. Get rid of that. Yeah, a lot of our good stuff is rotted. Um, tomb that grants pawn the Shurian specialization, allowing them to use curatives on the Arisen and other allies on their own initiative. 
Well, he learned that. Nice. So he can heal me whenever he wants now. That's cool. So the more of those you learn, the more independent they become. But also, you know, you never know what they might do. Maybe he'll just sit there and spam heal from now on instead of attack, and I might have just ruined him. But there was like a pendant and stuff. Did you see that? Oh, I wonder if Muad'Dib's actually got the items. And we got 1,500 Rift Crystals from that, too. That was cool. We need to upgrade his stuff bad. No, I don't see that pendant anywhere. Did you guys see that pendant? I'll go back and watch the video later, but... It's cool, it shows all the guys we've talked to. Oh, they probably go right to my storage, guys. That's probably what happened. What's with all this stuff here? Camping kit. Pansia, which is an all-around cure for everything. What's this? Oh, gosh darn, why did I pick that up? <laughs> so when you drop items, they don't disappear. You can pick them back up again. That's cool. Driver's Daybook. The other day I arrived at the border checkpoint only to realize I'd left my entry permit back at the inn. Ended up having to make a trip back, so I was late for my delivery. When I complained to a fellow driver about it, he said next time I ought to use the Bistrin mask. Seems Batal favors its Bistrin residents so they can get through without hassle of permit. Might be worth keeping the disguise on hand just in case. All right, there we go. So we're going to get that mask, guys, so we can sneak through whatever area that is. That's cool how when you look around, they'll reward you with a hint like that. I know I'm over encumbered, but I'm not worried about it. We're going to go drop a lot of this stuff off in the inventory right here. We talk to this guy. Um, so we've stayed the night for free. That was cool. Let's go downstairs now. We'll talk to this guy and get our, down or our extra items here from our adventurer's boon pack. We'll drop off a bunch of stuff here, too. Well, mate. You are come to Shakir's Inn. Shakir. A place of respite for the weary traveler. Shacking it up, you Shakir's. You not forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospitality in all Vernworth. See, now it's expensive. The first one was free. So let's withdraw. Yeah, okay, so here's the stuff we got. And it says, it's got a little arrow on it there. A key to the jail. Of relative crude make, it will break after a single use. Definitely taking that. Ambient Rift Incense. Only usable at a pawn's camp. Oh, a different voice. Metamorphosis. One-time use only. Can be only be used when using a barber. The risen to edit their own appearance or the appearance of a pawn. This came too. Harp snare smoke beacon. A smoke beacon that emits a scent enticing the harpies. When it lit in certain areas, any harpies within range will flock near. Oh man, so we can set that up like a trap maybe or something? We got a wake stone. That was cool. Okay, heartfelt pendant. A pendant overflowing with tender affection. When offered as a gift, it deepens the bond between giver and receiver. Provisioner's note. A note penned by Sir Joffrey. Okay, we know that. Let's take that pendant, because that's pretty cool. If we find somebody that we want them to like us and we want their affinity to be higher, or if we find a pawn that did a really good job and is badass, we'll give it to him as a gift. How come my items still aren't there? Like, where are my DLC items? Because there's the stuff that he picked up. It's weird. Let's drop a bunch of stuff off here that we don't need. When offered, deepen the bond between giver and receiver. Okay, so that's just like the pendant. We don't need two modest camping kits. We'll drop one off here in case we need it for later. Although I don't know if we're if it's one of those things where it gets consumed or not, really. We 
He's hardly weigh anything. It's all these curatives. That's what it is. Even the grapes, they weigh 0.15. That's a lot of weight when you can only carry 26, 27 pounds. I think I'm maxed out 27 pounds here. Well, let's combine everything we can. Dried fruits. Because that'll help us out a lot. Salubrious drought. Okay, that's cool. You can use those apples to make that. Modest dried fruits. Can't use the rotten stuff for anything. Dried fish. Lantern oil. Okay. Yeah, weight's going down a little bit, but not a ton. Fruit Roverant. Okay. Cool. Which is a better healing item, I think. To recover a great deal of health. A great deal of stamina. Tarring Arrow. So if we take the withered branches with the oil, it makes a tarring arrow. So I must get guys covered with oil. Well, at least we can use the rotten stuff to create oil. So that did drop us down a couple of pounds. Commerce is the domain of clever minds. Much obliged. So I don't understand where my DLC items are, but it's okay. We're going to continue the main quest here in just a minute. We're going to finish walking around. So that's the inn where we rest. We can do all that stuff. We've been in that room. I don't think there's much more to explore. We've been around here. Let's look at the map. The Noble Quarter. Rose Chateau. We haven't been down there at all. What is this? The slums. <gasps> Walter's Tavern. Noble Quarter. Church, I bet. Let's go to Walter's Tavern down here. I wish this game had like a card game or some kind of side game and stuff, like Witcher 3. It reminds me a lot of Witcher 3. Now, where'd the dragon come from, I wonder? And who summoned him? Last time in the original Dragon's Dogma, he was summoned by the Elysian. The Elysian. Or whatever you'll call him, that hooded cloak figure. So we need to go up and around, or down and around. Hello. Uh, this is the slums. We're lost in the slums. Now we're in the suburbs. I mean, you don't know what to do. What, what to do? What to do? I have no mother or father to speak of, you see. So the nice people at the Gracious Hand take care of me. I wanted to get them a present to say thank you. And I thought a bunch of flowers would be just the thing. Oh, hey, we have flowers. The problem is, I can't seem to find any good ones. <laughs> do you think you could help me? All I need is a bunch of pretty flowers. For true. Thank you ever so much, Arisen. I'm sure you'll find the prettiest flowers that ever were. Yeah. I've got them right now. Where? Boy, Arisen. Have you brought me a bunch of flowers already? Yeah. That's the easiest quest oh, ever. I love that. When you have the item they're looking for. These should brighten the sisters' days. Say, would you mind terribly if I asked you another favor? Now what? See, one of my friends taught me a magic spell. 
It's supposed to let you meet whomever you like. All you have to do is find a silver stone, put it under your pillow, and say the magic words. How's that work? But there's the problem. I've been looking all over for such a stone, and I can't find one anywhere. Would you find a silver stone and bring it to me, Arisen? For true. I knew I could count on you, Arisen. I'll be waiting. Our next mission is to acquire a silver stone. Mayhaps silver ore will serve. Oh, we hey. Purchase it or mine it up ourselves. Nice. I like that. Right, you are. Good hint. So once we find some silver ore, we need to make one. Hopefully that quest isn't like on a time clock like a lot of the others were, and goes away after a while. What's this? Simon Bark. Letter fragment. Of the gracious hand. Do you say you'll go and see her? She's your best hope. She used to conduct research in sedatives and sleeping medicants for the army or in Batal. So I'm certain she will. Ah. Wonder what's going on here. Is it true you're the Arisen? Only, I seem to recall someone else boasting of being the Arisen over in the tavern. But just be sure you play your part well, whatever the truth. Uh oh. The Arisen takes the crowd here and burn. We better save the game just in case we do something here. You know, like we go up in here and all of a sudden it's like we're exposed and it changes the main story. We do want to stay on the slide with Brant. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? Ugh, rotten scrag of the beast. Why'd you pick that up? I just got rid of that crap. I just come in here and I start taking stuff in front of him before he was trying to find something. Man. There used to be a thing back in the day called bum fights. It's really bad. Would have been a bum. Would have been a bum fight over that. Just lay on the floor. Well, I guess her bed is just a piece of wood, anyways. I'll take your twenty-eight gold. What are you doing, just lay on the floor? Can I talk to you? She's tired. Wow. This is the slums, huh? For sure. Everybody here is really this impoverished. This is the view of the sea. I wonder what lies. This guy's got a sword, though. Do be quick. I fear my time is in short supply. Well, that was quick. Hello, Catwoman. Oh, well met, sir. Well met. This here is the sanctuary of tipplers and merrymakers alike. I assume you'll be starting off with a mug of the good stuff. No, no thank you. Those orders coming. This fearsome world of ours is best met with stiff drinks and cheery hearts, I say. This guy's an intimidating bartender. Look at him. Holy cow. A treasure chest. I can hardly wait to open it. Dried fish, shore fish. Cool. Good for you. I want a seeker's token. That's what I want. There's got to be a one around here. And here are somewhere. I've been some great treasure. Now I feel a fool. We cannot expect gleaming treasures around every corner. Hmm. Well, yeah, we can. What, what are you talking about, lady? Every corner. Water looks good. That looks so real. Wow, I'm, I'm so impressed by the way they did that. But that and the rain on it, look. That's cool. But then also, the one where it floods down after we break the dam and fight the Cyclops, that was really terrible. We're going out in the world by doing this. Yeah, here comes explorer music. And my stamina's going down. Oh, is that a giant griffin? What the hell? Look at it. At last, the moment I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. There's an ox. 
Yeah, okay, we'll leave that griffin alone for now. Now we know where to come find one. Hang in there, master. I'm coming to assist. So this is laid out a lot like Grand Soren in a way. You know, here's a gate, and outside you're going to fight a griffin. That was the same in Grand Soren. There was a griffin that would come and attack you outside the city gate. Ruin, Ruin your vegetables. This is all grain. Looks like high grass and wheat. Now nah, we don't need to grab those grapes. A lot of cinnamon bark around there. Ooh, what's that little shack? Yep, yep, yep. Come on. Mmm. Dried spud. Withered branches. Well, let's just go through some of his belongings here. Waking powder. You don't need that. Nobody needs to wake up. Okay. Let's get out before they find us standing in the door. we robbing the place. Come on. Guys couldn't look more suspicious. Been a while since we found a Seeker's token. We should be finding them every 15, every 20 minutes, so probably like two or three an episode. We, oh, I haven't found one this episode. Oh, what luck! It is a chest! Uh huh. Let us hope your curiosity will be rewarded. Well, where, where is it? Just that dried fruit? No, oh, it's not. They didn't even open it yet. Chest you're talking about, gentlemen. No, we did <clears throat> open it. Campfire over there. It's probably goblins. Hold fast, arisen. Okay, let's go back here to the capital. There's not really anything out here for right now. There's a griffin to fight, but we're not trying to do that. We're gonna go advance the main story here in a second. Yeah, dun, 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 dun. Hello, adventurer. I've a knack for gathering items and am ever on the hunt for new finds. It's like the Queen I of Dragons from Game of Thrones. Any useful mechanisms I espy. You're cool, but I like my party right now the way it is. Now, Brant said that we need to meet him at night at the end. Boy there, friend. Care to help a fellow out? All I ask is that you hear my request. What have you got to lose? <laughs> What's his purse doing? His purse is alive. Okay. My thanks, sir. As to the matter at hand, it concerns my ox cart business. I've been holding off service on account of all the monsters on the road. Oh. But now I feel prepared to start making trips to Melv again. Only sure. Is, there are still monsters about, and I can't help but worry for the safety of the carts. That's where you call in. See, oh, really? I've got a letter here. I'd like you to accompany the cart in my stead and see to it that the letter reaches its recipient. What say you, friend? We're not going to do that. Interested, eh? A pity. I tell you some urgent mind. So if you simply need time to prepare, I'm willing to wait a while. Come. Yeah, I'm I really not ready to do another escrow request right at the moment, guys, after just doing that escrow request. But we're going to end the episode right here. We come back. We'll go and switch it to nighttime and meet Captain Brant. Oh, here we go. First of all, we'll end the episode with an awesome treasure chest. These new ones are really cool. I love the style. 
And another fluted bow. Okay, cool. So when we come back, guys, we'll continue and turn it to nighttime and talk to Captain Brandt. See if we can advance the main story some. I'm Lucky and the channel's game on. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.